I'm in Bristol to meet 12-year-old Isla who's autistic. She hasn't been going to school for over a year. Hi Isla, hi Sarah, how are you guys? We're good, thank you. We're starting off my visit with one of Isla's favourite things to do, the fun and relaxed activity of slime making. You don't go to school, right? Of course not. Hate Why? it there. School is stressful. We tried to tell them that they need to understand me, but they didn't. Not all disabilities are visible. Isla's brain works a bit differently to many others. Autistic people can find it harder to communicate and interact with others. They may have their own strengths and challenges. Mm -mm. No. Some of the most basic tasks are overwhelming to Isla. We can't do it unless she washes something to try and take her mind off of the pain. Stop it. So brushing her hair and teeth and even getting dressed can be difficult. And on some days, impossible. A part of Isla's autism means that sometimes her nervous system sees commands as a threat, which means an instruction from an adult can really stress her out. That made primary school really hard. The teachers, if I got stressed, they would drag me into a room and lock me in there so I could get my anger out. And how does that make you feel? S sad. Isla got so overwhelmed that she went from hiding under tables to trying to climb the school gates to escape. I hated it so much. I didn't want to be there, so obviously I wanted to escape it. So I tried, but they didn't let me. It took three and a half years for Isla to be diagnosed as autistic, and she was falling further behind in her education. Finally, in September 2023, she started attending a special school that could cater for her educational needs. But the nearest suitable school was 45 minutes away, and the journey was really stressful for Isla. She also found being in the new school triggered bad memories of her previous school experiences. After two weeks, she had to leave because it was just too difficult for her. Now a teacher from the school visits at home, but Isla can only manage a couple of hours each week. It just means that my school comes to me yeah. and said I have to go, which is better, I guess. Do you think you'd go back to school? Or? Oh. Absolutely not. Really? No. Mm -hmm. Come on, breakfast, yay. Her mum feels that a quicker diagnosis would have meant earlier access to the specialist help Isla needed and may have prevented her developing such negative feelings about school. <laughs> Recently on FYI, Scarlett put this issue to the government's education secretary, Bridget Phillipson. She's responsible for everything that goes on in England schools. The number of kids with special educational needs and disabilities has more than doubled in the past nine years, but loads aren't getting the support they need. So what are you going to do about these problems? The whole system where it comes to support for children with special educational needs and disabilities just isn't working in the way that it should. There's a lot more that we need to do. So as part of uh, the review that we've got underway, that is being led by experts in education, and they're looking right across the board at all areas of the curriculum and what we need to do differently and making sure it's inclusive yeah. as well. You can see more on the challenges that disabled children face to be treated equally on FYI Investigates Disability and Me at first.news slash FYI.